Gustavo's health continued to decline until he died in May 1994 of lung cancer. Early Signs of Abuse it is worth nothing that Awilda was granted visiting rights, the same year Elisa was enrolled in preschool. She was allowed to visit her mother every second weekend. Those visits were unsupervised and she always came back with obvious signs of abuse. She would have nightmares when she learned she had to be in her mother's custody, even for short periods. Both Gustavo Izquierdo and Elisa's teachers reported the abuse to the authorities. Elisa also disclosed the abuse to a social worker. In 1992, Gustavo applied to have Awilda Lopez's visitation rights terminated due to the abuse, but the court allowed visitation to continue under the condition that Awilda sold not harm her daughter physically, Awilda gains custody and abuses her daughter. After learning about Gustavo's death, the director of Elisa's school, Phyllis Bryce, contacted a family court judge to express her and the staff's grave concerns about Elisa's safety if her mother were to gain custody of her. Despite the concerns shown by those who truly loved Elisa, the court granted Awilda